Hi everyone, and welcome to another how-to video from ColorTech Inc. Creative Solutions. Today we'll be discussing how to import a PDF file into Adobe Photoshop and changing the entire file from an RGB color mode to a CMYK or grayscale color mode. Before we get started, let's briefly talk about the difference between RGB and CMYK. There are many sources online about the technical differences between the two, so we'll link some in the description below. For our video today, we'll keep the explanation simple. More or less, RGB is meant for digital work, while CMYK is meant for printed work. Now, what should you do to convert a PDF to a new color mode using Adobe Photoshop? You can first import your PDF into Photoshop in a couple of different ways. One way is to choose Open from the home screen and select your PDF from your files. You can also go into an existing Photoshop file and click File, scroll down to Place Embedded, and select your PDF. Your PDF should adjust to fill the allotted space. Take a look at the tab here in the top left. In the parentheses, this will tell you what color mode your document is in. As you can see, ours is currently set to RGB. Here's one way you can change your color mode of your document. Go to Edit, and scroll all the way down here to Convert to Profile. This will bring up a pop-up window. Ignore most of the window and focus on this area, Destination Space. Click on the area next to Profile. The number of options presented to you can be overwhelming. For our purposes, we can stay up here at the top, but please check with your printer or client to see if you need a more specialized print or web setting seen with all of these options. Up here, you can choose the CMYK option or the grayscale option, seen here as working gray. Click OK, and you will now see in the same tab as before that your document's color mode has changed. Another way you can change your color mode with your PDF is to go to Image, Roll Over Mode, and select the color mode you are looking for. No matter which method you choose, when you save your file, your PDF will now be in the preferred color mode. We hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time for our next how-to video.